This is gonna be fun. What's up guys, hope you had a good weekend. We're over at Modular Racks, taking care of a couple of things before we head out on our adventure. I've noticed since the truck has become gigantic, it's really hard to climb up, to get up to the roof, to the rack, to uh, take light bar covers off. So we're gonna solve that problem today. We're gonna do that with these ARS steps. And these just kind of go onto the hinge bolts like that. These are mounted onto the door hinges now, and they just fold down like that. Real simple solution. Get yourself some of these. You can get these from the Modular Racks website. They ship everywhere in North America or directly from Metal Cloak. I'll put the links in the description. All right, guys, we're gonna head up a mountain today in the cold, very, very cold. How cold is it, Teddy? Negative 649. That is accurate. We're gonna try and get to the top of this mountain. It is a steep climb. There's gonna be snow. It's gonna be a challenge. Teddy's got the Eco Diesel Unwinder. Of course, we've got the Trail Destroyer. So, what do you think? We're gonna make it? Of course we're gonna make it. What are the odds? Are. It's, uh, out of 10, I think it's gonna be an 8.8. 8.8 out of 10 climb. It's a tough climb. Make sure you subscribe, guys. 60% of people watching are not subscribed. We're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers. Appreciate your support. Let's do it. You're so close. What did I say was negative 600? It's actually more like negative 830, I'd say. With some heavy snow in the forecast to go along with the cold temps, this might be the last time we can get up this high for a few months. That is assuming we even make it to the top. But I love a good challenge. I remember the first time I did this trail in my old XJ on 31s and having to winch across this gatekeeper obstacle. The trail destroyer barely even flinches at it, but there will be bigger rocks ahead to put this truck to the test. snow here signs of snow anyway so I don't think it's gonna be long before there's a lot of that and there's just rocks sticking out of the sheet of ice on this <laughs> all right maybe we should space out a little bit just in case it's slipperier than we think yep all right mostly rocks up here was getting extremely slick. At some points, more ice than rock, and the unwinder was struggling a bit to get up the hill. We're only about five minutes up the trail, with a long way to go still. Yeah. 
Try to get over to the this side. That was exciting. <laughs> little slip and, slip and slide. You didn't bring any chains? <laughs> I always bring chains. <laughs> <laughs> this one actually chains would be useful. Chains would be very useful right now, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'd wait and come up until maybe I'm past this whole section. Copy that. Alright, you clear. Copy that, here I come. conditions are just stupid. We're basically driving up a mountain on a sheet of ice with the occasional rock poking through the ice to give us traction. It is gnarly. For all the people who love to comment, this is the time for chains, but I don't carry chains and the truck can handle it. So we're just going to use the tools we got, which is lockers, air down super low, V8 power and diesel power. And we're going to get her done. So far this has been a pretty interesting run. We're about halfway up the mountain. It has been super icy, probably some of the iciest conditions I've ever driven up a mountain in. Usually the kind of conditions that I absolutely hate, but uh, Trail Destroyer is handling it like a beast, like it should. 40s, air down super low, some V8 power, I love it. So we just uh, arrived at the creek crossing. Shouldn't be too hard. Water level is low. A little bit of ice going in, so see how she goes. You like how the diesel's doing? <laughs> I love, I'm loving the diesel. The automatic transmission took a little getting used to, but I like it now. This is gonna be fun. There's a tight squeeze between two rocks here, and then a slick log on the opposite side to climb up. On past trips through here, I don't recall the log being this tall, and I think it may have been replaced with a larger one or the stream has eroded the ground in front of it. problem is there's a big hole here right before this slick log and uh, I almost got up it but there's just too much of a hole and it's too wet 
So I'm just gonna winch to get over this last hump here. There's a stump up there. See if I can get to my recovery gear without getting soaked. A couple of problems with this recovery. One, my winch line is jammed. That's my fault for not checking to make sure my line was spooled properly after the last time I used it, which has been a while. Two, so I can only get the line out about two meters, maybe three meters. So I'm gonna need to use an extension. But the next problem is a 50 foot extension is too long. My entire line's gonna be spooled in before I get any tension. So luckily I have just the tool. This is an adjustable length extension. It's really cool. Let me show you. So I've got the line connected, but I still have tons of slack. Now watch this. I just pull this through. That should give me exactly enough line to just get over that log and get up this hill. Richard at Freedom Recovery Gear made me this. Very cool. Check out his stuff, freedomrecoverygear.com. With the line pre-tensioned, I should have no problem getting over the log now using the winch, and then I can leave the line hooked up for Teddy. has 37 inch Toyo MTs compared to my 40 inch Toyos and about an inch or so less lift, which is going to make this very difficult, but Teddy will give it a shot. Straighten your wheels. There's zero chance of climbing up that. If you can get that one like in there, that might help a bit. No wrong spot, but. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> No luck under its own power, and Teddy will have to winch over the log as well. This is why it's important to carry recovery equipment that will get you out of any possible situation. Challenge. It sure was. Let's see what else this trail is going to throw at us. Should be smooth sailing from here, right? Don't say that, Teddy. Further up the mountain, with no more obstacles in our way, we're just a short drive from the lookout point of the town. to the top of the mountain no trouble at all just that little winch sesh on the creek it's pretty good victory beautiful day out here I say we have some lunch how about you yep I'm hungry let's I'm hungry it. too let's do it
It's amazing that after a few hours of being on the trail, we're still just a stone's throw away from a major city. But looking down on it, you feel like you've escaped to another world that only a few know how to access. The rest of the people down there in their skyscrapers going about their daily business, oblivious to how much fun we're having up here. Cut, he just landed his drone and cut his finger open. That's how you die out here, man. Right? There's no hospitals for miles. Ah. I guess this is it. This is how it ends for me. Well, Teddy made some soup. We had some soup. Super nice up here. Soup, super nice? <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. S-O-U-P-E-R, super nice. We're gonna start heading down this, this, we're gonna do this as a loop, head down a different way, so should still be some fun ahead of us. Stick around. On the way down, there's gonna be several rocky sections that are gonna be a good test for the Trail Destroyer. I haven't gotten it into much crawling yet, so I'm excited to see how it performs on some bigger stuff. These small creek crossings aren't much of a challenge, but they do have steep approaches that can be a bit slick in the snow.
that was incredibly satisfying to drive. That was an awesome run. It was. Good sunny day. Sun's just starting to go down between the trees. We ate your grandma's soup. Cynthia's grandma's soup. We ate Cynthia's grandma's soup. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure what more you can ask for than that. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll Look, see you next time. I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and read it, you was soft. All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop. I don't want to speak. I'm talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucy.